we started we started this week of preparation for Lincoln by telling them, you know, there's teams you know you're better than, but that doesn't guarantee you to win. And I thought, really, I thought defensively we came out extremely fast and matched their intensity. Was really proud of that defense. Had uh, we came out though after halftime and we didn't have the same intensity. We were in a beautiful call in that long pass where our high safety got distracted by the quarterback run. He's supposed to have the three verticals instead. He started coming down. And those are the things, the little things we got to work on this one to get better at that. Um, Is that door open? Yes. You know, everything we did defensively that went bad was self-inflicted. It was all self-inflicted. You know, we get a, a fumble where a guy rips away the ball. The guy rips away the ball, but we have a defensive lineman land in the neutral zone. You know, that took points off the board. Uh, those are the things we have to work on, just being more disciplined defensively. Same offensively, I thought when we came out, we weren't matching their intensity of Lincoln. And my hat's off to Lincoln. That, that coach is doing a great job. Those kids played hard all day. They were classy. Uh, you know, they're going to start winning their share as they continue to grow as a program. But offensively, we do. We just got to get more of a rhythm. I thought uh, we didn't have much intensity at the start of that game, and that's something we've got to start fast. Uh, you know, defense had two turnovers, touchdowns. That's a nice way to start it. Maxwell Epps was the first one. I thought Erod did a great job of, of moving that offense and, and making some plays with his feet. We're going to still have to work with him, though, when it's time to get down. Uh, I think we're going to have to buy him a slip and slide and teach him maybe how to, to, to get down because it's just, not, it's, it's just not in his DNA to do that right now. But he's got to understand how important that is that he doesn't take unnecessary hits. Uh, special teams were very solid. I thought except our kickoff coverage, we lost contain a couple times. And those are the things, first game, you know, we, we'll have great improvement this week on the little things of this game. Um, we played a whole lot of players tonight uh, that got in games for the first time, and you know, you're still trying to develop depth that you're going to need the rest of the season. And I thought we helped the coaches did a good job of doing that. I thought, uh, you know, Coach Reebok did a nice job of calling plays. I thought Coach Williams did a nice job of calling defense. The same with Coach Walsh. You know, I thought they were ready. Anyway, any questions for me? Second quarter. That door? Is that kind of when the game turned around the second quarter, just with a lot of domination? It, it did. You know, it started slow. Once again, we started fast defensively, though. Uh, but when the offense scored seven and then when Maxwell, you know, turned right around and got that pick six, that's when I think the momentum started to turn. Uh, and then, you know, the offensive line started playing a, a lot more physical. Uh, and, you know, we had some nice drives. And one of our drives was a main play drive. You know, that, that's good to see is, and I think you saw what Andrew Armstrong can do at receiver. Uh, he's a big, tall receiver. He's got deceptive speed. He's extremely fast. Was it nice to hit somebody else besides yourself? You know, the good news is I haven't been hit all camp. <laughs> uh, so, was it nice? It was. It was <laughs> you know, it's all about the players. You know, and they had a good time. You saw the enthusiasm on the sideline. We felt some energy. We got a long way to go, but I think we got a chance to be a pretty solid football team. You had to been happy with the lack of the pre-snap penalties tonight. Yeah, that, those were clean. No, that was clean. It was the the push in the back on a big play by one of the wide receivers. You know, just those little things. But as far as being clean on procedures, I was very happy with yeah. that. We were never under duress with the clock. You know, it seemed like we were always on top of the clock, and that's, that's nice. And, you know, even at the end of the game where you tell the quarterbacks not to snap it, until it's down to three seconds, you know, we're just trying to get out of the game and keep everybody healthy. I thought I thought we managed the game well at the end, too. You know, getting out of there just running the football. Well, I guess that's it. Thank you, Coach. Well, I got a question. You mentioned the crickets. <laughs> what was that like? You know, if complaining worked, there wouldn't be mosquitoes, so <laughs> you might, as well just, might as well just accept it. I wasn't quite ready for the dive bomb, but once I figured out it was just a cricket, I was all right. But initially, I really assumed it was an alien who was trying to abduct me. I would have gotten down my shirt. But anyway, Maxwell Epps picked the ball off, and then you know our quarterback, Eric Rodriguez. Eric, did you feel comfortable out there, or you looked comfortable? 
Yes, sir. I feel, I feel very comfortable. Uh, the old line and the receivers, they made it real easy. So they make my job easy. Receivers, you got a lot of confidence when you throw the ball out of nose. Yes, sir, definitely. Especially Andrew Armstrong. Like, you see him one on one, just, just throw it up. Yes, sir. Well, I guess that's it. Anything for Max? Max, I'll ask you a question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Max, what did it feel like picking off that football and running it back for a pick six for the first time yeah. in your land career? Can I tell you something, Coach? I told you two people before the game I was going to catch a pick six. My brother and my mom. The books for you. And I told him, my mom was going to record me catching a pick six. You're going to send it to me. And I got to catch a pick six. I didn't realize you were going fast. I got a little juice. You got some juice. <laughs> <laughs> juice. <laughs> you got some juice. You got some juice. Hey, Coach, I used to play running back. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> First time. Anyway, that was outstanding. You're a true Swiss Army knife. We're Thank so you. glad you're here. Thank you. How is the secondary coming together with all the with basically a whole new secondary? Oh uh, well, we're we're coming together pretty nice. We got a lot of young pieces coming up, but we, we have to mature fast. Like uh, Coach Williams been telling us, um, we have one older guy, D. Will, who's been basically leading the entire group, getting everybody right. Uh, we just got to follow his lead, and make sure that we work as hard as him, and make sure everybody's. Great. That's all we said before. We can't say anything less than great. And the will is the Williams. Oh, yeah, there's Williams. Okay. okay. Does, it, does it give you some inspiration to have a teammate make the Cowboys roster? Oh, 100%. That's actually my dad's favorite team. I don't really like him too much. But uh, seeing Amon make the team, seeing Cater make the team, so much inspiration just to see that they come, they came from here. We can do it too. Uh, thanks, guys. So, we're going to